and a glittering memorial has been held for beloved performer Jeannie Little at the Cremorne Orpheum today. It was a morning filled with love and great stories as friends, family and celebrities came out to say goodbye to one of Australia's most iconic performers. While COVID-19 stopped a lot of people travelling to Sydney for the memorial, many sent video messages and entertainment reporter Craig Bennett shared his thoughts about his good friend. Look, Jeannie, uh, an absolute one-off. We'll never see the likes of her fabulousness again. TV personality was kind of framed around her back in the days when people on telly actually had personality. She had a heart as big as the world. Her kindness unrivaled. Her talents amazing and just all came from the heart. One of the funniest white Mike Walsh moments um, was Jeannie telling the crazy story to the great George Burns, the Hollywood star. Um, she's talking about her wedding to Barry and she's talking about how her auntie Lottie fell out of the van on the way to the wedding. The door flew open, Auntie Lottie tumbled out, the door closed again as it went round a corner. They turn up at the wedding and where's Auntie Lottie? So a search party is sent out to find dear Auntie Lottie. So George Burns is there with a cigar in his mouth and after she finishes that wonderful, very complicated story, he said, I didn't understand a word that woman said didn't matter. I'm going to show you a photo now. I think it sums it all up. There it is of Diana, Princess of Wales. That is Jeannie looking into the eyes of Diana, Princess of Wales. It was 1988. Of course, her royal duties, as you know, included meeting a lot of people, like thousands of people, lines and lines of people. You hear it all. But look at the smile on her face. Look at the genuine smile and adoration on her face. I think it says it all. Of the thousands and thousands of people she's met, and just look at that amazing glow, that inner glow coming out. I said to Jeannie, what did you say to her? Hello, darling. That's what I said. What else would I say to her? Hello, darling. And look at the way the reaction was. Jeannie said the same thing to Prince Charles, despite breaking royal protocol. She, Hello, darling. When she worked for the Attorney General's Department back in the uh, 60s, she would call everybody darling. And that was just simply Jeannie Little. That's exactly what she was. The most fabulous and gorgeously divine darling ever anywhere. Amen. And we love you, Jean. And we know she's here somewhere. <laughs> oh, nice words. A, that nice was really words. Lovely. And, and it was nice to have Katie uh, Little on the show um, a week or so ago and Carlotta talking about Jeannie Little. Um, Robbo. It was a great memorial. A lot of people spoke. Uh, there was Wendy Harmer. Katie actually got up and, and, and did a speech right before we came on air. Um, it, it really is nice to look back and remember uh, these people, isn't it? Because Jeannie was an Australian icon. I think we always say this, and, and I think you'll agree, we've had many conversations about this, and that was you and I, we, we, we were born just a little bit too late to really enjoy the wonderful golden age of Australian television. And you've really got to say that at the centre of the crown of Australian television was Jenny Little. And, yeah. and that's a testament to all of the people who she met, all the people uh, who spoke today at her wonderful memorial. It was back when, and I loved that line from Craig Bennett, it was back when... Uh, TV personalities had personalities. Um, you know, Jenny Little will be sorely missed. Uh, and I thought it was just a wonderful celebration of this of this woman who we lost. And I, this is such a cliche, but we lost her so long ago, really, uh, to the to the ravages mm. of dementia. But she has left such a legacy that still resonates today. It's interesting you say that because when we spoke to Katie there wasn't so much a sadness as a relief because Ginny had had dementia for so long. And yeah. really, I felt like Katie had said her goodbyes to her mum a long time ago. And, uh, yes. you know, and, and now was just able to enjoy the fun moments, what she was as a legend. And, you know, someone who literally um, was plucked out of obscurity on the Mike Walsh show. And they showed some great clips, you know, um, uh, during during the memorial and her on the Mike Walsh show, her telling a story about Auntie Lottie falling out of the van and she was with the <laughs> classic comedian George Burns and George Burns is there clapping along and then he pulls out the cigar and says, I didn't understand a word that lady said. You know, <laughs> and that was that was the beauty yeah, right. of that kind of TV and the people she worked with. And Craig also mentioned she was asked to uh, be a companion in Doctor Who. 
um, that she oh was... Oh, God, you managed yeah. to get Doctor Who worked into this. Know yeah, that. I couldn't believe it because this was something I didn't know. <laughs> Apparently she was going to play um, someone's oh. crazy Australian aunt and the only reason she couldn't do it was because of the acting laws in Britain that they wouldn't allow oh, an Australian wow. to come in and get the gig. So uh, it never happened. But how amazing... Oh. To get those kind of opportunities, you know, like she, Absolutely. we really don't understand how amazing this woman was, especially if you were born a bit later. People thought she was a drag queen. People didn't really know what kind of <laughs> character she was. And she really, she really was an amazing entertainer. And Fantastic. so it's well worth remembering. Um, now, I wish from. I had an ounce of her over the topness. I mean, she is. The Australian version of Jazz Hands. I mean, she's just yes. something like <laughs> Very true. Yeah, I just love Jenny yeah. Little. It's the Ben, Rob and Rob, 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 Ben, Rob and Rob,